this is heavy. Such a fan of talking about myself and whatnot. It's his favorite topic. Mm -hmm. Well, dude. Well, I'm excited to talk to you guys. (laughs) So uh, we've got Robert and Barker here. Thank you guys for coming and talking with us. Uh, We're also joined by my buddy Nick, who's uh, frequent in the podcast a few times. I'm a regular. And a shout out to my brother over there running sound for us. Uh, He's awesome, and um, he's just going to be kind of chilling behind the scenes today. I don't don't have a mic today. Yeah, he doesn't have a mic. (laughs) Nick took his mic, so... um, Anyways, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you. It. Yeah, thanks uh, for having us. Big fan of the bar. Uh, thanks. Relatively new bar mm-hmm. um, here in Birmingham, the Church Key. Uh, yeah, it's kind of been our, our new spot, man. We get out and uh, yeah. me and this guy get out and go hang out. That's usually the first place we'll go or, or either the first place we hit or the last place we hit. Um, but yeah. Fair, yeah. It's a cool <laughs> yeah. vibe, and, and yeah, so thanks for coming, and I'm interested to hear – I don't know a lot of the history about uh, you guys and kind of just got to know you guys recently. Mm. Um, and uh, this is always a good opportunity to get to know people and stuff. Yeah. So how did the church key get started? And, and, and who are you gentlemen? And how did y'all end up working together? You, you want me to start? Loaded question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you want to you feel that? Uh, this is like A, B, C, D. Um, yeah. uh, thanks. Thanks, uh, thanks for having us. Um, well, actually... Robert and I have worked a few places together. Uh, we worked together at Bottle Tree. That was our start. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Take away, I love Bottle Tree, man. That's such a huge impact on my Yeah, life that's fun. Um, I mean, I don't know if that's where we met, but that's where we got to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was, I, I mean, we were basically there from the start. I was. Yeah, I came we on. Pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Not quite a year. After they opened? I mean, when I started, like, they still hadn't fully built the walls, you know? It was like garbage bag walls. The, the kitchen wasn't done, you know? What was yeah. it before Bottle Tree? I don't know uh, if I remember What was it called? It was, was it Misconceptions? Yes. Yes. Misconceptions. Uh, gay bar? Just a standard gay bar, right? Gay bar with a <laughs> hot tub. It had a hot tub in it, <laughs> reportedly. Oh, yeah. I what's creepier than that wow. so kind of like our new bar we uh in the early days of bottle tree occasionally you'd get a very uh confused um typically older gentleman uh coming in looking around we've oh, had those well, in the church key yeah already. yeah already uh, <laughs> uh, uh yeah like i mean you know because church key used to be spikes, spikes. Um, but, yeah. so i remember early on bottle tree sometimes a guy would walk in, just kind of look around and be like, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I thought this was uh, something else. We're like, misconceptions? <laughs> um, he's like, oh, uh, yeah. I was like, hey, it's fine. Are you hungry? You want a beer? Yeah. Usually they were just wigged out and they would just walk out. I, I don't know how you can walk into a place, look around, read stuff, mm-hmm. and still be confused, but that happens. It does happen to people. It happens to yeah. the best of us. You know. We've had a couple of those, like, not so much anymore, but in the first couple of months of – uh, the church key, like a couple of folks come in and they, they're in there for a few minutes and yeah. before it dawns on them that it's not what they thought it was. But well, again, it goes back to my theory that people don't read signs that are right yeah. in front of them. And there was yeah. a bar in between. Yep. Yeah. That, that there's, there's both. I mean, we've had more people, um, confused about it, not being Electra. Right. Um, but I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of the guys who come in, um, who want to know where like <laughs> the swing went and stuff like that. Uh, we, ha- I mean, sometimes they sit down and just like chew your ear off for a while. It's pretty good. Yeah. Did um, you ever go in there when it was spikes? I, I never, went I once. Never got to see it. A friend uh, of mine was doing some graphic design for them. And I, I, I went in there uh, just while she met with somebody for, you know, 30 minutes or something. But y'all, like, y'all thought about bringing some of the swings back or any of that stuff? Uh, go-go dancers are so hard to come by. Totally. Really. Don't have the budget. Yeah. That was a joke, but yeah. 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 Shit's expensive. Shit is yeah. expensive. I mean, if you want a good, a well-made one that's not going to fall out of the ceiling or something. Right? Yeah. Heavy-duty leather and chains. Yeah. yeah. If, we, if we did it, we'd have to take it to another level with, you know, a little person in the cage or something yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 Pretty sure really weird with it. Yeah. Pretty sure that's going to get us in even worse trouble. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. How long were you guys at Bottle Tree? Uh, I was there f- from 06 to, so 2006 to 2012. I moved away for several years, 
so I wasn't at Bottle Tree for the last, I guess, three years it was around. Okay. I think it closed in 2015. Um, but yeah, I was there for the first six. And, and you were there for 06 mm, to 09, maybe 10? Yeah, then 10. we both, I mean, I continued to work at Bottle Tree, but I also, my day job was at JRAG, like the screen printing place. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, man. We've yeah. got a lot of people. Yeah. Um, Rusty and yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, lot of, a lot of folks have gone through there. Yeah. Um, I did a six month stint at JRAG when I went legit and got out of the bar industry. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> yeah, what a mistake. <laughs> so the money was not, not as good. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't hit you as fast, anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we worked there together, I mean, in separate departments for a while. But I stayed there for a while. So uh, I just follow each other around, man. Just, it was just, you know, school. yeah. Uh, I was in the art department there. I wasn't actually printing shirts. but uh, So, yeah, we both worked at those two places together. We're always around each other anyway. In uh, Parkside. Parkside opened at some point. Oddly enough, I worked at Parkside before Robert did, um, but not very often. Like, yeah. <clears throat> and then I was just there like maybe once a week or something, and then I moved away. I was about to say, Bottle Tree was still my bread and butter, yeah. and then I picked up you know, a few shifts at, at Parkside before I really... Okay, so you were just kind of bouncing between the two, I guess, yeah. for a little while. Yeah. Went, went deep into it. And I'm a big fan of working within five miles of my home. Yeah, you know, sure. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and <laughs> sure both just, both lot. jobs being yeah. like three blocks apart or something. Exactly. Yeah. Back then, it was Munchies, like the gas station, the not, gas station, yeah. Um, yeah. and yeah, Bottle Avondale Tree Brewery and still wasn't up wasn't, and running yet. Nothing right. was nothing was down there. It was it was it was Bottle Tree, Munchies, and then Parkside. Yeah, but, yeah. I remember I discovered Parkside <laughs> in college, and um, uh. Came down there to you, you guys had some bands or something play, and it was a really cool vibe. And man, um, uh, then you know, not to throw shade on the new park side, but it was definitely a different animal, you know, back in the day. And I know well, a lot of yeah. people really miss that place and stuff. And I had heard uh, that that was where you guys um, had worked for a long time and, and being a part of that. And yeah, um, that's most of the yeah. people that I recognize from the church key are people that I would hang out with at park side, right. Yeah, we're, we're fans of lowering the bar, not raising it. Yeah. You know, and, <laughs> uh, you know, those are our people. Yeah, the, the beer and shot people. That's... We we you know we worked at Parkside for a few years together, and uh, some of the some some of the folks that worked at Parkside now work at Church Key. Um, Alan Carey. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh. Yeah, basically what I mean everybody kind of if you're local or even if you're not, you kind of know what happened like Yeah, um, I didn't know how deep we're going. You know, Parkside, you know, meant so much to so many yeah. and it was such a, a rad space and you guys had hot box in the back mm-hmm. and had the awesome courtyard, you know, which is still there, you know, but like it was like Same very guy owns unique. The building. Yeah. Same yeah. guy, yeah, mm-hmm. and um, the back bar you could smoke inside. Does he live upstairs? I always wonder what was upstairs. Know. Was it like a loft or it, something? You could. I mean, if you if you it was set up for residents. You know, there's a kitchen. I didn't know if anybody actually up. lived up there during the days of Parkside or not. He, no. No. Uh, really? Okay. He, it was just used for office space, right? We just used storage. it to, like, chill, you know, take a break. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. The owner of the building had, a like, a home and garden store downstairs, and he lived upstairs okay. back in the day. Yeah, but, before uh, it was yeah. a bar. Before it was a bar. Yeah. Wow, okay. <clears throat> As to whether or not anyone's living upstairs now, we don't know, but... Yeah. Um... But Parkside came to an end. I guess that's what you were kind of alluding to. Yeah, right? you know, it was it was unfortunately like just went down in an ugly way, and we uh, hey, we stayed in the fight till the bitter end. <laughs> yeah. he, he and I yeah, kept yeah. it. He and I kept it going and carry on Sundays. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, for a year and a half after all that all that shit hit the fan, and then um, ultimately what happened was the guy who owns the building wanted his building back. Um, the truth is, like, that bar was probably on borrowed time regardless of how things were going. Um, mm. It's his building, and if he wants it, he can have it. Sure, and right. And he came back to town. He wasn't living in town um, for a long time. Came back to town, yeah, took wanted, it back, and yeah, what you, we were what you see is what he's done. Lease, and he wanted double the rent, you know, yeah. which just wasn't feasible. You know, right. So. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean, these are all facts. There's no yeah. shit talking. So, yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. I, you know, <clears throat> we could do that, but we're not. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, the transformation that's <laughs> happened in Avondale in the last 10 years, I mean, like, I can only imagine what people are, are asking for, you know, as far as, like, oh. rent and lease and stuff. Dude, what's going on in Avondale lately? <laughs> Like, uh, uh, that's, I feel like, like just in the past, like, two weeks, I feel like there's been, like, three or four closings. Like, Yeah, I feel like it's going through another turn. It's crazy, man. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Like, Post Office Paz is, is closing their doors. Uh, Common House technically moved to Ferris, but now that building is, you know, just vacant. Yeah, it um, doesn't look good. It doesn't you know, look yeah. good. And then the whole, like, uh, Megan... Cheese place, the mac and cheese place, yeah, Wait, melt what? or whatever. Oh, oh yeah, like right, they've yeah. got a fence oh, the around the cheese place. place. I was like, mac and cheese place, yeah, yeah. Uh, melt or yeah. formerly melt. I mean, right. like they put up a fence, but it's kind of half fallen over. Oh, have they? I didn't notice. And that. there's like graffiti it's on the building and stuff. Over. And <laughs> dude, it doesn't uh, look sucks. good, man. I'm like, bro, what's happening to Avondale, man? It's I mean, crazy. you know, it's probably just going through a shift. There are people who want to open businesses. I mean, as long as landlords sure. are, you know. Can, everybody can come to some sort of sane agreement. I'm sure that most of those spots will be occupied within a you know relatively yeah. short amount of time. But like right now, it's yeah, it's just but I it's, think it's just yeah. A, it's like if you go down cool forty first period, yeah. transitional yeah. phase. Like, it, does, it did explode, yeah, really fast. It it got big really quick, and then it was kind of a pain in the ass, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. To be honest, like it, money's cool, but working at Parkside like the last few years. Um, where everything was like really, really busy. Like, I mean, kind of felt like going to war sometimes. It sucked. Mm, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would love to, with the new bar, I would love to not ever, you know, headlock some fucking frat guy, you know, and <laughs> throw him out. Happened? You know, often in parks, dude. I, uh, all the time. It, it, we drove, it, we it, drove, it, drove a couple of people out by their ankles. It, it yeah, rarely so. got to the violent point, but people. People will not be told, you know, what to do. And especially what they got the alcohol flowing through their veins. And they're like, no, man, I'm tall and blue. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. (laughs) Oftentimes you could just walk them out while they berate you, you know, say all the things they're going to do to you as soon as you go out front. And then that, of course, doesn't happen either. But there's a few times where I had to get. A little physical. I was gonna beat your ass, but my mom's here. I gotta. Go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've had this uh, two and a half minutes of walking to think it over and think it over. Right. Yeah, we found out the the most powerful weapon in your arsenal is indifference. You know. <laughs> yeah, just don't get <laughs> if, if you don't just, match their volume. Yeah, you know? just, just don't yeah. get emotionally involved. Yeah, yeah, they would they would try to rile you up because you're embarrassing them. You know, you're sure, like yeah. you're you're killing their their good time. So they would just try to bait you into basically, you know, touching them. Get on my level. Yeah. Not touching you first, you know, like, so now I was, there's a lot of funny stories of just people on, on some weird shit. Oh yeah. Wedding like, parties were the worst. Yeah. Uh, that that'll way. ruin any bar. There is something about somebody in a suit who doesn't <laughs> oh, wear yeah. a suit very often. One of my favorites was a guy couldn't understand how he was being thrown out because he was wearing a three piece suit. He kept repeating that fact. He's like, what do you, I mean, I'm wearing a three piece suit. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was like, it's I'm so not stupid. Ripper, I don't even I'm know like, how to respond. Bro, look at this suit. You can't throw me out. And I'm wearing a hoodie. Get yeah, the fuck yeah, out. Yeah. 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 He was like, sorry, I don't look like shit like everybody who works here. I'm like, Ooh. you you obviously hate this place. Why don't you just leave? Yeah. yeah. That was always such a cool thing about Parkside was that the 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 crowd that it drew. You know, I know a lot of the Haints dudes hang, hung out there and but then you'd also get kind of more of the yuppie crowd. It was, like a, it was like a cool, diverse yeah, blend. It had, it had of enough people. room for everybody. It oh, like yeah. It did, yeah. yeah. It, it ran the gambit. And having the food in the back didn't hurt. It's just like, oh, dude, man, let's you go here and hang out. Lot. You would definitely have some nights where, like, those <clears throat> those uh, different groups clashed or you know, got a little weird. Sure. Um, sometimes maybe all the, like, college boys would come in and I uh, think they were going to – you know, hold court, and then like a bunch of guys who smell like brake fluid come in, and it's like, oh, all right, well, I guess yeah, this is their place, so we'll, yeah, I guess we'll leave. It was, it was cool. <laughs> I remember the early days of Parkside too, where it was like, I would hang out in the front a lot, and then the later it got, the more busy it would be, like on oh, yeah. the weekends and stuff, and it was just like the weekend crowd and being oh, yeah. on the oh, service yeah. industry was, was like, get me away from these people. I'm that was off. the hardest. I'm not getting paid. I don't want to be around them. And that was that was the biggest. Bummer for our regulars, you know. When yeah. They would come in and be like, "Who are these people?" It's like, "Hey, man, that, you know, it's, it's yeah, the keep weekend. the lights on, man." Yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's sort of like after ten p.m., you, you just might as well hour. split if you're not, you know, looking to get stupid. But right. Yeah. Well, then you had the sanctuary of like the patio in the back bar. But. Yeah, gener- Yeah, like you could. You used to be some sort of respite somewhere on mm-hmm. the property, but some nights, like I would, when I was bar backing, I, I would walk outside and 
I felt it, I, I know there weren't, but it felt like there were like 700 people out there. Oh, yeah. It was so thick and you couldn't get anywhere. Right. And if something, if something was wrong, if you needed to get somewhere in a hurry, sometimes it was not easy to do. And it's pretty messy sometimes. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And shout out to that back bar. That was, that was so cool. It was just like a little speakeasy built into the back patio that I thought was really rad. And um, that place was like a casino. People it was cool. It was time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And money. I was like, this is such a unique setup. You got the Airstream, you got like a whole nother bar, you know, that a lot of, I don't know if y'all would, it seemed like whenever you go out to that one, you have to start a new tab or open up a new you thing. Did. Yeah. Um, it was like a separate, it it's like a bar within a bar, yeah. you know, it wasn't originally there. It was, the bar was open for a few years before they added that. In fact, that was while I was away. I think. Yeah, in we, the big house. No, mm-hmm. I was living. Hey, we're just gonna build another building in the back. We got room. Let's do it. I remember yeah. I came home to for a visit, and it was. It's it was too late there. for them to do anything now, but yeah, I don't think we pulled one permit or anything to build that thing back there. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Y'all just started building? Uh, real, <laughs> well, yeah. we, well, we yeah. I mean, right. real loosey goosey back then. Like it was. You know, that was a different business uh, arrangement. Like you know, there was there was a landlord who would you know. He was the guy, I suppose, you would, you know, get permission from to do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I remember there was like a giant tree fell in a storm, and that pretty much the insurance money financed that whole patio, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Because like, wow. it used to just be, um, was it gravel? Yeah, pea gravel. Pea gravel. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, big old tree fell down. I wasn't around for that, but I remember when it happened. And, like, yeah, I came back, and there was this nice Yeah, patio. it knocked off yeah. the original back deck. And- yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, that's the one that went upstairs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it was very zen, man. I mean, towards the end, you had the bamboo, you had the little <laughs> pond, bamboo you had the fireplace, yeah. you had the, the back bar, you know. Busting up all those bricks. The bamboo uh, was, like, growing underneath all, dude, all of the uh, meticulous yeah. brickwork. Once I, I hear mm-hmm. once you get bamboo, you can't get rid of it. Yeah. Like, it's oh, like yeah. super invasive and stuff. But it looks pretty, you know. Yeah. Of all the th- it looks a lot better than kudzu or anything else. Mm-hmm. Like um, Any other invasive species. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but, you know, it's not our problem now. Yeah. Right. So once, uh, so once Parkside was kind of in the rear view. Yeah. Um, I guess you guys could see the writing on the wall. You said you were there to the bit. You know, went down with the ship. I yeah, guess we, we dragged the last yeah. of that shit out of that building for sure. Wow. Yeah, two of us. Um, did you guys have plans? I'm curious. How did the church key pop up on your radar? And, and how no, did we that had get talked started? about it. You know, towards the end of Parkside, that we would like to do. You know, something else. It was just finding a good spot that I think in our opinion was close enough to Parkside where our regulars would be willing to go. Right. Because we looked at a couple of places, one second Avenue North and that kind of thing. And it was like, eh, I don't know if we'll be able to pull, you know, our old crew here. Nah, it would, I don't think it would have been the same. Right. Yeah. North side vibes are just different. Yeah. yeah totally. So, you know, and well, I think we were, were hoping to, you know, retain the neighborhood part of the neighborhood bar, you know, like right. that was a, I mean, it's a lot of people can't afford to live there anymore, but you know, it's a residential area, you know, it was, mm-hmm. you, it, theoretically you could walk to the bar. It's supposed to be your neighborhood bar. And we wanted to find something that, I don't know, butted up against somebody's neighborhood, you know? Sure. But uh, yeah, we had a few false starts. We thought we had a spot a couple of times and for one reason or another, it wasn't going to work out. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess it was, when was it? It's like January of February, February of 2021. One or two. <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah. I, it all runs together. Yeah. 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 Anyway. The um, concept of time is terrible. We, we, got it. we were made aware yeah. that uh, Electra was going to close. Um, okay. It was offered to us. Um, now. Yeah. So just so I have my timeline right, uh, Electra was in, you guys occupied the full building, mm-hmm. correct? Right. But it, there was a time when it was like split between Electra and Good Neighbor or something. Wasn't, I, that, yeah. wasn't there like a span? I, I believe that Good Neighbor used that front side room, the one with the window and the, and the, the, the glass door, you know, right when you walk into our bar. Okay. Now, like on the left. I think you walked in there. And they, yeah, and they used the, those three rooms. Okay. To do because now it seems very open, where like the living room esque spaces and all that, and you kind of come through the foyer. So I'm just trying to picture what it looked like before. It, this, it looked the same, but it, okay. it's just that uh, the rooms the good neighbor used were 
they're still the same. They're just closed off now. We use them, one's an office, one in their storage and I gotcha. stuff. Gotcha, um, I gotcha, okay. But when, when you walk into the bar now, there's a, right when you walk in, there's a, a door on the left, and I'm pretty sure that was the entrance to the tattoo shop. Yeah. And I think the front room is where they, you know, yeah, like yeah but, greeted people, and then they used the, the, the following two rooms. You're here to right? drink or get a tattoo? What, yeah. do you, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Because yeah. you can't do both. Yeah. You can't do both. And, uh, yeah, I, as I understand, that's how they did it. I don't okay. know. At some point, the, yeah. the tattoo shop moved out. I think it was just like a temporary measure because they yeah. had uh, landlord issues and building. Yeah. Who doesn't? Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, good neighbor story is, is wild. Yeah. Was, uh, I was about to say, guys on. you know, from yeah. what I heard, they outgrew it pretty quick, but mm. who knows? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, but, I think they finally have found a decent place to Oh, settle. yeah. They're in a huge place. Zach's been there. I mean, it's, it's massive. Yeah. Yeah. So, shout out to the good neighbor boys. I haven't talked to them in a while. Yeah. They're right around the corner from us. Yeah. So, they're still in the neighborhood. Sure. Um, but, yeah, I guess it was yeah, February. We were made aware that it was going to be available pretty soon. Okay. Um, and then piles of red tape and bullshit later. Dude, um, I don't even want to yeah. begin. I, I've never. It's so boring to even owned think a bar about or worked in a bar, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I can imagine. I don't know. It seems like a huge challenge to open a bar. You mm-hmm. know, it's like, like a I can't imagine. <laughs> well, and we it's thought by <laughs> buying an already existing corporation, you know, would make it so much quicker. No. no. Oh no. <laughs> so walk me through yeah. that. Yeah, because there were some things that you guys had to go through. So when Electra was deciding to close its doors, were they like selling you the business model that they had already established? Well, not or? the model, but yeah, literally the business. The business the license. itself. Yeah. Yeah. The so liquor the license, license mm-hmm. you know, we thought it would be easier to go ahead and purchase their corporation. Because then you so don't we'd have to already wait have on the, the business license, the liquor license, which are notoriously hard to get. Right. But guess what's also notoriously hard? <laughs> to transfer that shit into your name. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, gonna, they can't make it easy for us. Ultimately, yeah. it didn't really save us any time. Uh, uh, we, I guess, you guys were able to open quicker. Yeah. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> At this yeah. point, I'm not sure. Like, not a not a not a significant enough amount of time. Uh, okay. People tell you, you know, if you're gonna if you're going to try to get your own liquor license under your own new business name, it's gonna. You hear everything from like uh, three months to. A year and a half, like everyone's got a different, you know, horror story to tell you. But honestly, I think if you're lawyered up in the right way, it'll happen relatively quickly. Um, that helps a lot too. But we are just uh, a couple of dudes who worked at bars owned by other people, and uh, <laughs> we didn't exactly know what we were doing. So yeah, I mean, you and I know how to do day to day stuff. Yeah, you know, you know how to yeah. run a bar, you know how to manage a bar, you know how to keep it. Yeah. Float. Uh, yeah. I mean, like. it should, at, at this point, it should be mentioned also, we do have a third partner who is not here, who is actually my wife. Uh, okay. And she is definitely the adult in the room at any at any point. Oh, that's really fun to have. Yeah, she's the brains of the operation. Yeah, it wouldn't uh, exist if she wasn't involved. We're the big so it's dumb you animals. guys and, and my uh, wife, your yeah. wife. Yeah. Y'all are the ones that yeah. were like, we're doing this. We're going to... Take over Electra. She, yeah, she's, own she's the only one who actually knows what the fuck is going on. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Right. She knows how much money is in the account. Yeah, y'all yeah. have the so, clubhouse, and she's we like, are just yeah. dumb little she's boys. Paying them, yeah. That's fun. Her name is uh, Guro Mitsund, by the way. That's a Norwegian name. I'm not going to try to pronounce it the way Norwegians actually pronounce it. But she's also a realtor, right? Guro oh, Mitsund, EXP Realty. Anybody looking for a house? Shout out that. Yeah, nice. yeah. Uh, you get the plug in there. Um, she's great, though. She's uh, she's way too self-effacing to to come on to something like this. I think, mm. but. Uh, She's definitely a huge part of it. Without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you guys decide, hey, uh, Electra's, you know, they're calling it quits. We're mm-hmm. going to move in. We're going to purchase their business, mm-hmm. um, basically take over. Um, how did the name Church Key come about? I mean, y'all didn't want to stick with Electra? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, yeah, we're we're gonna, two, Park, Park Side 2. Yeah. 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 Park yeah. Side number 2. Yeah. Uh, uh, was it your dad? Yeah. I mean, it was my parents... That's what they called bottle openers back in the day. Yeah, the you know, key. yeah, in the okay. '60s and '70s, you know, because before the era of pull tops, you know, on beers, that they had to open everything. And I was like, it was like a can, can, you know? What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, so, but we had spitballed a couple other names, you know. What, what, what didn't make it? Uh, troopers. 
Troopers. I wanted Troopers to kind of go with our cool. Stormtrooper yeah, theme. I can see that. Yeah. yeah I've, no. I've actually forgotten about it. Let's head over to story. Troopers, man. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I also wanted Fredo's Mickey Mouse Nightclub as a tribute <laughs> to the Godfather. Whoa. Yeah. That's a little worried, right. but, but yeah. yeah. It's a little yeah. much. That's a little much. You would have picked up a nickname pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> you got to shorten it. Troopers, is that rolls right off the tongue. Yeah. So, yeah it, could but, be, yeah. it could be Star Wars. It could be Iron Maiden. You know? Yeah. Right. yeah. That's where my mind went first. But there's a pizza place called Troops. Uh, okay. So it was like, oh, we don't want to follow. I'm sure you start Googling names. You're like, okay, who else has this name or who else? There are a lot of church keys out there, but, you know, that's why our, you know, our online presence is the church key Beham. But it's, it works. Yeah, know? I dig it. No, it's awesome. And because the building resembles a church, you know, ties that, in, that ties lends in itself that. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's cool. Uh, a lot of people think that that building was at some point an actual church. Actually, as far as I'm, I, I don't know. I don't think it ever was. Yeah, yeah. But there was another short-lived business in there called the Chapel Bar, which yeah. I think was happening what maybe ten ish years ago or something. You ever heard of that? I don't I've, even know. See, I don't I've even heard the name, but I've yeah. never like heard anything about it or when. Yeah, so it's been you know it's been several was it bars. Like a menu bar too. Do they have shows there? I not that I'm aware of. But oh, okay. then again, I, I wasn't living here at the time. So. But yeah, it's been, it's been a few bars. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is the first time that somebody just tried to make it like a proper dive. You know, that's what that's all we all we wanted to do is re- kind of replace what we lost. Sure, right. um, with like, you know, as I little, like the phrase upscale dive. Yeah, and then <laughs> upscale dive. Wow. We're gonna give you a glass. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, not a plastic cup, but it's like it's like yeah. a Shake Shack. Yeah, you know, it's, it's slightly it's elevated. Right, the bathrooms are pretty clean. You can tell yeah. Yeah. that you care. Like that's. That's we, what's important. We, yeah, we try. Again, we're we're like every single day is uh, a lesson. Oh yeah, yeah. So, what are some of the lessons that you guys? I mean, now that you've like started, so to back up a little bit, when you guys were working at Parkside, it was owned by another gentleman who is no longer in the picture. Mm-hmm. Is that he was correct? the majority owner. He was of the that? majority yeah. owner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so this is your first endeavor together, along with your wife, where it's yeah. like, hey, this is our thing. Yeah. This is what we're gonna do. And, yeah, run it. I owned twenty five percent of Parkside back in the day. Okay, but I first started working there. The original partner, he was moving out to California with his new wife and selling his stake. So, you know, I was lucky enough to get twenty five percent of it, which you know, for me it was. Hey, cool! I can't be fired now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not just an employee. Right. So, like, yeah. I was an owner, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that was my biggest thing. I mean, I mean, Robert was the day to day guy. There. Yeah, sure. Like, I think it was it was confused uh, by a lot of people. They just assumed it was all his, you know, because he was he was he was the man, you know, he was there doing all the stuff. Well, you're definitely the face I see at Church Key anytime I walk in there. And, well, and this I remember was, you from oh, Parkside yeah. too. Yeah. It's just like anytime I come in there, it's like see the familiar faces. And stuff. well, now we've so. just tried to do like the like try to do Parkside right, basically. Right now, now it's majority yours. And uh, hey, I would love to get to the point where I make enough money to go <laughs> yeah. to Europe for four months a year. Yeah, but you know yeah. we're not there yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you so, know. <laughs> yeah. We just put you know put the guy who's you know going to get us in the uh, the least amount of shit uh, has the bigger cut of the bar, right? And knows what not to say online. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. good manners on this one. <laughs> sure. So. Yeah. Well, well, well. Talk me through some of the the challenges that it was. You know, you said maybe taking over. A business that was already established it wasn't necessarily hindsight's twenty twenty. Maybe it wasn't necessarily the best thing to do versus like just starting from scratch. I know that you guys operated as a. This is where I get fuzzy. Is like you operated as a private club, um, where mm-hmm. you had to right. have a technical membership. Mm-hmm. Um, why was that, and, and what was the story? That was the that? license Electra had. Yeah, we yeah. essentially yeah. inherited it when we purchased that business off of them. And what is the the pro? What are the pros and cons to? Because I know there's other bars in town that do that. Yeah. Um, I think the Nick's one of mm-hmm. them. The Quest, uh, the Nick. Uh, Marty's. Um, any, any place that serves alcohol after. past uh, Sunday morning at 2 a.m. So in that 10-hour window when you can't buy Between any alcohol. Sunday and noon. That yeah. is, noon. seems to be the only plus. To it a seems private. to be the only plus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah you, and, don't, you don't have to close at 2, basically. Basically. Yeah. And so there's an incentive there that, hey, we can run for longer hours. And mm-hmm. Right. But we're Hopefully old. make more money. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't want to do that anyway. Yeah, we had no interest in that. Yeah. So. But what's the downside to doing that? It's a lot more, uh, it's just a lot more uh, paperwork, a lot more uh, 
more expensive too, right? It's more expensive. It's more. It's just more dealing with. And the ABC, ABC board is yeah. more likely to come by and visit you. Yeah, it's, yeah it make sure you're enforcing it. It puts a target on you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Make sure everybody in there is a member. Let me see your card. Like yeah, yeah. The yeah. guy's getting harassed. It's almost like they. I I mean I don't work for the ABC, but I would imagine it. It almost seems like when they see one of those types of licenses, they're like, okay, these guys are going to be up to some, you know, some wacky shit past right. 2 a.m. It's so just a red flag. Yeah, let's yeah. just check them out, you know, yeah. and they're more likely to rifle through your trash and expect, you know, all the right stuff to be exactly where it, you know, belongs. It's just mm -hmm. a hassle. You just feel like, you know, any any minute they could... Ask him for trouble. Yeah, come mm -hmm. down on you. And also it, 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 does, it does also give people the wrong impression, like, oh, that place stays open till dawn, you know? Like, mm. I'm already out of my mind. Let's go there and, like, pile it on. But do you necessarily have to stay, keep you don't those have hours? To. No. Okay. Yeah. But it's did just, you guys do that? No, we haven't. <laughs> it has not been necessary. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I guess if it was like going off and it's just like packed house. Yeah, you know, like, ideally, if we had like a a good a good night and everybody in there was having a good time, behaving themselves, we didn't have to kick them out. Stay of open yeah. for a little longer. Yeah. You want to do another couple hours? But that's like yeah. one night a week. Yeah, right. I, I mean, um, I can't imagine it happening more than once, and. Uh, and we haven't been open. And we've only we've barely been open, not quite seven months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that thing never happened, you know, in and the time that we had that. Honestly, post COVID, it really doesn't nope. seem like people stay out that late yeah, anymore. Yeah. Anyway, I've noticed yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah. haven't gone out to tell. Yeah, I used but, to be one of those people. Sure. Yeah. Right. Closing, closing down the plaza. Closing, yeah. I've closed down the Nick. Yeah. All the places the, you have to be a member. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm. So. Um, so, I, I mean, you guys did post a thing saying, hey, uh, Church Key is no longer a cult <coughs> club, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, as of this past Friday, uh, February 2nd, we are just a normal public bar. Okay. We finally got, I mean, we, you know, we, we submitted everything. We just kind of have to wait around for, you know, whoever. The, yeah, the ABC board, they're, what's the phrase, hyper-bureaucratic. Yeah, yeah no, oh, sure. Uh, I can imagine, yeah. They're not concerned with your time. And inspect and like everything. And, uh, <laughs> yes. They, yes. they came to take pictures, and apparently we weren't supposed to have alcohol in the bar. Right now. What? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, because, you know, we already had a liquor license, but it was class two. We we're trying to go to class one. So they come in and do their inspection, and it's like, oh, you can't have this alcohol in here, you know, because you're applying for a new liquor license. So you shouldn't have any liquor in here. They basically treat it like day one. Like day <laughs> one's from scratch. Like if me and Nick decided to just start yeah. Alex right. and Nick's bar, you know. Like, oh, you already got booze in here. You yeah. can't have that. I mean, yeah. Wait, are we, it's like, it's are, like do you well, mean we just have to put all these bottles in Robert's truck and drive it down the street? And then. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not pouring it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah it's, crazy. it's just, yeah. you And you learn all of it as it's happening. Uh, sure. There's no like guidebook to it. Yeah. This, they, yeah. And, there's a lot of conflicting information, or it's like taxes, it, dude. Like, yeah. you just oh yeah, talk to any any uh, accountants, you know. Like, uh, they're always like, oh, that you should, should do this or should do that. Like, they can't even agree, you know. Much less. Uh, Some of them are willing to like go right up to the, you know, the edge of the law, and other people law. are a lot more fastidious. You know, it's mostly it's just depends on who answers the phone that day, you know. Yeah, at whichever organization you're having to deal with, so. But, but you guys were still willing to dive in. You're like, no, we're going to do this. We're not going to well, get back into graphic design yeah. or, or <laughs> whatever else. And you're like, no, we're still going to get into the bar biz. And like, that's, that's it. The restaurant to. business is the only thing I've ever known. So you know, what am I going to do? Is sure. a 50 year old guy with no computer skills, <laughs> you know, whatsoever. <laughs> It's like start a TikTok. Yeah, uh, start, start digging TikTok. ditches. You know, yeah. is that still a a job? And I will remind everyone, like, uh, again, we're dumbasses. We didn't know it was going to be this hard. Right. Sure. So. But, I mean, I mean, if I'd have been you worried about it, not anymore. Yeah, we're, like, half as dumbass as we were seven months ago. So. Well, I'm proud of you. Yeah, thanks. Feels good. So how have the first seven months been, you know? Uh, Pretty good. General reception of, of the place. And um, it seemed like uh, I came up there last week. You guys had a food truck. Mm -hmm. And I overheard you talking to one of the other patrons. And you're just like, man, whenever we have this food truck here, it was like the – uh, the rickshaw. Oh, food shout truck. out rickshaw, dude! Yeah. Man, it was. I got there right after they stopped serving food, so it was like they were serving food from like five to eight. Mm -hmm. 
And I was like, damn it, man. That was, I was it's, really it's, looking forward. It's certainly the best Asian food on wheels in town and possibly just the best, period. Well, I, I overheard you talking yeah. with another guest, and you were like, man, anytime we have rickshaw, dude, it just packs out. Because I walked in, I was yeah, like, they bro, run. dude, there's so many people here. It's they're, cool. They're, well, I, well, the thing is, like, everyone eats, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. however many people are hanging out in your bar, everyone gets something. I mean, it's just a mark of the quality of their work, you know. They, mm-hmm. they, they work really hard on it, and it's just really high quality. You get what you pay for. Sure. Um, they're cool guys. That's cool. Yeah, if they wanted to be there every day, it'd be fine on me. But yeah. they're in demand, so. Yeah. Well, hopefully I'll catch them soon. I haven't caught them there It's yet. good. I mean, it, the hype is real. It's delicious. I forget what yeah. parents his restaurant owned. Joy Young. Joy Young, yeah. That yeah. was a very popular restaurant uh, in the, was it 90s? I think so. Yeah. But, yeah, so he, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. Chris uh, he, Joe is his name. He's, uh, he's, yeah, it's, I guess, built on some of, I at least started... I shouldn't speak for him, but as far as I can tell, it's like kind of based on some of his family's family's recipes. Mm. I mean, he's obviously expanded on on that since then, but yeah, he, he's really good at what he does. Do y'all often have food trucks there, like on the weekends or maybe the more we're, touristy we're, type nights? Well, <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna try to get some in the rotation. I, I haven't really reached out to too many because another part of all of this is we're waiting to get this license change because now that we don't have to yeah say, hey, walk me through like yeah. what is the biggest benefit to now that you guys are well now you don't have change. to go like hey please come hang out at our bar p.s uh we're gonna make you pay to hang out in our bar right you know which wasn't much i mean it was like five dollars sure a year. i mean you might be surprised at how many people balk at something like that really yeah mm-hmm. if, if i don't want to be a member I, here i will if i'm going to a bar that i don't want to go to that i don't know exactly especially if i'm out of town and it's like mm-hmm. Yeah, the, there's other bars like this one. Looks I don't have the to coolest, do this, but I don't have to pay five dollars <laughs> to that's, be and here. What do I get for that five dollars? Nothing really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you get, get to come yeah. in and hang you out. You get to now you know, buy another. Yeah, you, you get know. to buy a beer. Now from you us. get to right. spend money. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, we understand. It's uh, it's yeah. I don't I go to guys, a lot of places like that. You had a good reputation. I was like, ah, well, shit, I'll pay it. Yeah. But that's because I knew you. Yeah, it's different. I mean, we don't blame anyone for not wanting to do that, especially yeah, you're being dragged around by your friends. You you don't really know what's up, and then you're like, oh fuck, I don't even have five dollars, you know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there before too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, but it's it's just easier to promote your business, you know. Mm. It's it's just and now it's just like the doors are wide open. There's no asterisk, you know, anywhere. Yeah, sure. Just uh, show me your ID, prove you're 21. Yeah. If and you're 21 and you're polite, you know, know how to behave yourself, then party on. Hell yeah. So it, I guess yeah. the whole incentive of being open later on like a Sunday or something that's not. Not that big a deal. It didn't. Right. Yeah, it, it was just closed when everybody else closed. We just, we just, we just operate like a normal bar. That's all we yeah. ever wanted. Uh, and, but now it's easier to have. Yeah, ask, hit up. You know, food trucks. Maybe have the occasional band play or something like that. Well, I saw that. Yeah. It's good that you mentioned that. Mm-hmm. Um, you have a, uh, a flyer here for uh, February tenth. I'm sure this episode will be out before then. Yeah, uh, reconciler, five hundred bucks. Opt out. You know. Um, Will this be the first show mm-hmm. that you guys have had there? And I'm curious, and where will free. the bands play? It's free it's show. Free, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you said 500 bucks. I thought that was the cover. Cost 500 like, oh, bucks. Yeah. 500 dollars to get in. Coming from. Yeah. We need everyone to help us pay 500 bucks. 500 bucks. <laughs> no. So who yeah. hasn't paid 500 dollars to go to this show? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Right. It's not Losers. that much. Money. Um, yeah, that's the uh, that's the first thing you know, sort of public event we've had or we're going to have. Um, I'm friends with uh, those guys in the band Reconciler from Atlanta, and they they needed a show, and eventually, or sorry, it was it was supposed to be at Mom's, but their chicken parade thing uh, is happening oh, at the same that's time. The same night, yeah, yeah. Bro. That's, uh, so because I have you know, Mardi I've, Gras in Birmingham, right? Yeah. There. yeah, I play in a couple of bands that we played at Mom's and had a good time. So I was like, we'll just do it there, and they were down for it. And then Wes forgot. Oh yeah, we have this. Chicken this little parade. thing, this yeah, yeah. Uh, the fourth annual Forgot this chicken very parade. large event that we have. Dude, yeah. it's gotten bigger oh, yeah. every year, it's too. It's Mardi Gras again. Yeah. 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 So I was like, well, we'll just try it at the bar, like, um, and hopefully we'll have our new license in time, which thankfully we do. Uh, um, you should have just rolled the dice. Like, oh, yeah, I was like, yeah, up, fuck it. You know, I mean, if it yeah. sucks, whatever. Yeah. They didn't care. They were stoked. They they liked the idea. Uh, I think they were, they were actually into, you know, the idea of being the first band to play sure. their friend's yeah. bar I so yeah. yeah why not yeah 
But so uh, for those that are familiar with Church Key and the layout, where will the band play, and how are you going to lay that? We're wow. going to set them up uh, right inside the foyer. Uh, foyer, okay. That's yeah. French for foyer. 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 <laughs> I never know. <laughs> Glad you spelled you that out for it? me. I don't uh, know. I'm not French. But yeah, uh, so we'll have everybody come in through the back door, you know, and the uh, band will okay. be set up at the front. Like Just you know, playing the, back into the bar, I guess? Yes. Okay. So you, yeah. you, you, I'll... You know, we are all the doors are going to be unlocked, of course, for safety reasons. But I'm going to put a sign or something on the front door that says, "Hey, please enter through the back patio." And yeah, because so, you go yeah. around the back, you have like that gated area, mm-hmm. and that yeah. leads to your back porch that's covered. Or yeah, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so people come through. There. So walk through there, and then you know it's a free show, so it's it's you know as long as you know everyone's walking through there, and if they're new to the place, we just need to see their ID, and that's that's it. But cool. the band will basically have if you were to walk in the front door. The band would basically have their backs to you, so mm. yeah, that's that's how it's going to be set up. Gotcha. Kind of diagonally because the room's really narrow. As it's you real know. narrow and yeah. like long, you know. and uh, a lot so, of room though. It's still cool. Two of the bands are three pieces, so like that's uh, at least there's not like not we're not having the Boston's play in there. We don't have like nineteen right. people in a band. <laughs> you don't have you a twelve know. person, and yeah, we're just as section. curious to see how it sounds as yeah. everybody else. Yeah, might, <laughs> might, yeah. We don't know. Might be really loud Let's and see. sound like dog Let's shit. See how this does. Yeah, yeah. I cool. think it'll be fun. Whenever I went to Electra, it usually like sounded pretty decent when they had the volume up loud. So I think it. Yeah, as loud. I understand, that was a pretty loud place. Yes. See, I never went to Electra. Me so either. like, what did they do? Anything it's different? It was a dance club. It was things that we don't. Do there was a DJ booth um, that we tore out? So I th- I don't think they okay. ever had bands play, but they definitely had loud music. Uh, there might have been one show there, yeah. but I'm, for the most part, it was all DJs. And I had a few I, friends yeah. to do it. I wanted to do a country night there. That would, yeah. How would have gone to so that? I used to do one in Oakland, and it was like mm. not the right place to do an all vinyl country night. Bummer. They were like, so yeah, play rap. Shockingly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So where was the DJ booth that you guys were at? You know that back corner with the curtains and the where we have the sort right. of the, the the past pet altar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, right. or, yeah, dead, yeah. or dead pet memorial. Day of the Dead. Uh, yeah. No. yeah, what is it? Huh. Yeah, yeah. Smart, this. Yes, yes. Yeah. That we we have. I mean, we have like long term plans to build yeah, something yeah. called a columbarium back there, which is sort of these little almost like cubby holes where you put you know. I haven't explored the space as yeah, much as yeah. I should have, you know. But we, Next time I'm there, I'm yeah. just going to wander around, peel back curtains, yeah, open just, doors. I'm just going to go exploring. Make yourself yeah. at home. Come uh, behind the bar. <laughs> I'll give you the keys. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate uh, that. But if people are interested in, you know, bringing uh, mementos from their departed pets, we're going to eventually arrange something on that wall where there are, like, little slots, like cubbyhole kind of. Oh, you know, that's you cool. You put, like, a photo yeah. or whatever you want to bring down. And uh, just expand on what's already there. We just put our own personal pets, and a few people have brought photos, and that's what that is. Yeah. Oh, did that just cool. kind of start organically? Mm-hmm. Or did you guys yeah. know uh, you wanted to do that? I mean, we kind of had the idea early, you know, and then my dog passed away in May. Condolences, man. Thank uh, you. I've been there. I know yeah. what it's like. And so, so I was like, all right, well, she's going to come hang out with me at the bar. Sure. You know, forever. Also, the uh, cat that lived at Parkside and Brandon. Uh, Brandon. Yeah, we, uh, my wife and I, Brandon, y'all all know the cat's name. Yeah, Man, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if I was fortunate. I know Brandon. I don't know if I. Have. It's a cat head. So, it's just, I know Brandon. Rip mm-hmm. King. Um, yeah. yeah. Now Brandon lived with uh, my wife and I for the last uh, well year and a half year? that he was yeah. around. Mm-hmm. Um, after Parkside, you know, shit the bed. We uh, we took him in, and he was a wonderful little guy. And then he he was pretty old. How did he adjust to not being in a bar? Uh, very well. He was uh, just like stoked to not be yeah. surrounded by people. He was suddenly very clean and fluffy and talked all the time. And uh, he, oh. had a, it, like, he like sprouted this whole personality that I think had been suppressed by Constant having been screamed at by drunk people. people. For, yeah. Yeah, I think dude. the daily grind of dude, you know, being yeah. seen. He's in the trenches with you guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he oh, had, he a, had yeah. a lot of off days. He yeah. had a nice uh, year and a half retirement where he was you know, well loved and taken care of. Awesome. So, yeah. yeah, but I mean, certain people would come in the door at Parkside and you could see him eye roll and be like, oh, damn, this guy <laughs> again. Again. If a yeah. cat could eye roll, he, he, yeah. he, he could. Dude, if I could get my hands on one of those stickers, I'll put it up here in our set, man. I can, oh, let uh, me know. Let I me know. Find uh, if you got one, lay it around. I still got I, one. I, know, I definitely have a few. So, Well, the last time, uh, you know, like I said earlier, me and Nick frequent Church Key. It's kind of our go to. Yeah. Um, we were there last night, remember? Uh, we were literally there last <laughs> yeah. night. You were. I um, saw you. Yeah. Um, 
just looking at your photos, I mean, you seem very pet friendly. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think the last time we were there was a little chihuahua that was running around. It was, like, super cool. That's, oh, Mr. Yeah. that's Mr. Beans. He's Mr. Beans. A, yeah. So Annie, who works at the bar, that's her dog. Yeah. Okay. I like how he just perches, like, a gargoyle on the arm of the sofa. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. he could sit in my lap, which he did for a minute, and get pet. And he's like, nah, I just want to post up over here and just stare. Yeah. That's so cool that you guys have that whole little like living room. Area. Yeah, I like, really just walk in, gravitate. Y'all usually yeah. have a movie playing or something on the TV. We need to stuff. find a nice round coffee table. You know, yeah. I think that'll that'll tie it all together. Really tie the room together. Yeah, no. Really there was a the pool together. table there when it was Electra. Is that yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, insurance uh, goes way down if you remove the pool table from your bar. Really. So, we were happy. Oh, yeah. It was also what leased, a so. fun fact. Why? Yeah. I wonder. Well, there's uh, there's really a lot of potential hard. weapons. Yeah. Uh, oh, people really just laying around each other with pool yeah, yeah. cues. Long and distance. As somebody distance who has seen staff. people get hit in the face with pool cues at yeah. a couple of bars, you mm-hmm. know, yeah, you don't want that. I didn't even think uh, about that. So we yeah. got. I mean, it was also leased. So you know, it, we just had the, yeah. the people they had been renting it from come pick it up. And, yeah. And then yeah, we just. I think once that was gone, we were like, "This will be a little couch." Zone. That's cool. Yeah. No, I like it. Yeah, a little. Thanks. You can kind of get like away from the like table the... instead. Yeah, I don't think there's any insurance issues with that. You know, right? I'd be fine with that. That would be sick. I miss like the old glory days of Plaza foosball. Um, <laughs> Next, like get a foosball table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, maybe some air hockey. Um, uh, I mean, even better or bubble hockey. Yeah, bubble hockey's cool. That's a mm-hmm. rare one. Those are fun. You don't see those that much. See, I'd like to go back to the days of Schulbach. That what? We had in Auburn. What's that? I don't know. Schulbach. Is that like Schinerbach? It's the weirdest game. It's a, it's a table about this long. <laughs> yeah. Okay? And you have these little wooden discs, and you just slide them down the table and try to get them into these little slots. So it's the laziest nice. game you could play. You looking that uh, up? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure if it's S C H. U L Zach is currently trying to look up this game. There you go. School book. School book. <laughs> <laughs> Google's like, no, yeah. we don't you have this. That's dude. shuffleboard. Okay. Yeah. That's it's, like shuffleboard with the. Uh, it, it might be. This A-C-H. isn't shuffleboard it's we're talking Dutch about. Game. Dutch game. Dutch game. Yeah. I think it was maybe. Bro, uh, you're O-C-H striking O-C-H out. Or... <laughs> Click search for uh, instead. There you go. Shulbach game. Shulbach yeah. game. Uh, but they had it at a, that's it. They had oh, it at okay. a oh, wow. bar okay. in uh, the Amsterdam Cafe in Auburn when I was in school there. Oh, yeah. Cool. I have and seen that before. It's, yeah. It's I've sort of like it. shuffleboard. Yeah. It, yeah. And yeah. But with, with little corrals at the end. Oops, it's, sorry. it's a great lazy game that you get to sit there and play. You know, there's no real skill or effort. Oh, those are my But favorite. you don't have the wax on the board, like the, you don't the have shuffleboard. You sand it or, or have yeah. the sand. Or yeah. It's like yeah. The little wax things or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's everybody what likes to like. have like a little bar like game or something. Yeah. yeah, I mean the thing is we have a lot of ideas and we we really kind of we got we got this place open in the way that we could. Sure. Uh, and and uh, of course, everybody that hangs out there and likes it, they have lots of suggestions. Oh, and I'm questions sure, and, dude. I mean, if we had a all, suggestion yeah. box, it'd be packed out. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you do that. You need to get yeah. rid of this. You should, go, you should build a skate park in there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, we've heard it all, all but like. Yeah, <laughs> get um, the hot tub back, bro. That and we appreciate sick, everybody's you know yeah. enthusiasm, but it's it really just comes down to like yeah, I mean, Money. eventually, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we when we can, we might you know, right? Sure. But I mean, we're glad people are psyched. You know, that's awesome, man. So yeah. I guess you guys have some grand plans as what you want to do now that you guys are like a full blown just normal run of the mill bar. Yeah, that's what you wanted. Well, um, we we I mean, we'd love to get a new HVAC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next on the list. I know HVAC. that's a super interesting uh, topic, but uh, well, well, no, we yeah. came it's coming up, up there. on a really important. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. but the people will love that come summer. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, we were up there. Uh, it was during the Arctic blast yeah, that we had like cold. a couple of weeks ago, and I, I noticed the space heaters you guys had going. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, um, yeah. Shout out to all of our uh, friends, regulars who loaned us all those space heaters. Because uh, who doesn't want to hang out at a bar when it's 41 degrees yeah. in the uh-huh. bar? So what's <laughs> the deal? There's no it, HVAC at all? No, there is. It just doesn't keep up. It died. You know the day that the temperature just plummeted? Yeah. Like that morning, we came in there and saw that it had it just crapped out overnight. And so mm-hmm. the day where the temperature was going to be dropping down to, what, 18 or 19? Yeah. That, night, that was the day that it no longer worked. And so oh, it was fine yeah. uh, like a day before that. 
The and HVAC then. just pulled the the sponge drop. So you I have no HVAC. Head out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so HVAC is dead. Yeah, it was just bad timing, you know, and it, it happened right as that big uh, um, freeze out freeze out happened, and yeah. so yeah, we just got to replace it. Yeah. They're they're both from 1993. Yeah. So yeah. apparently, 31, 31 years, old. years yeah. is too much. Yeah. We you get 30, 30 years. That's you it. Get 30. That's all. Not 30. That's all they guarantee. Not a yeah. day over. So, yeah, that's a, a cool, boring, expensive thing we have to worry about uh, presently. But, mm-hmm. yeah, of course, I mean, we'll, there's always some sort of idea of what to do. And, again, like, like I said before, so much of what we would like to do kind of hinged on getting that license change. Mm-hmm. You know, everything about advertising the business, everything about um, scheduling events, if people would like to have something hosted there, it, it all came down to, yeah, can we do that and not hassle people f- to fill out this form that no one wants to do and sure, give us right. five bucks? I mean, the yeah. five bucks is cool. Like when you're starting out and you have no money, it was it was a boon for us, you know. Sometimes, but it's not that much of a headache. I mean, yeah. but like I get it, you know. Like but I'd much rather people in. just yeah be able to just walk in and chill, you know. Yeah, yeah. But we'd like to get to the point where we're doing you know revivals. So to speak, there, you know, <laughs> yeah. the old tent revival. Maybe yeah, a, there, there, maybe a pancake yeah. dinner. You know, <laughs> okay. or something like oh that. wow, really, grand plans. Yeah, yeah, really ham up the church aspect yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, man, I went to this place in Charleston, and it was uh, I can't remember the name of it. We went some buddies, and uh, it was an old church they had converted into like this restaurant bar thing. It had giant cathedral ceilings, mm-hmm. and it was so cool. It was like the most unique bar had ever been to i could probably google it and find it but um yeah it's pretty neat man the the structure of the building and the way it's laid i don't know what it what it was back in the day when they first built it i don't know if you guys dove think, that deep into the history of it you said you, you didn't I think it was quite a church but i know that it is two shotgun houses put together yeah and then that front you know where double you walk barrel. in yeah it has a double barrel <laughs> double barrel but, um yeah. uh that front entrance was attached so mm. Um, it's got a very unique look for yeah. anyone that hasn't been there. Go visit Church Key; super cool. Right next to the the pet salon or whatever they Humphreys. built right Humphreys. next to you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah across the street, kind of from uh, Owls. Yeah, it's, it's in the Lakeview. Yeah, you guys uh, are part of Lakeview. I mean, you are on like the we're like on the border there, border of yeah, Lakeview. which is actually fine with us. Actually, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The strip yeah. is a little much. When yeah, I was twenty one, twenty two. Yeah. Uh, I still wasn't that big of a fan, but I, it made more sense. Now it's, it's cool with us to be like around a corner and a little tucked away. Yeah, I was about to say just on the cusp, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and similar to Parkside, you know, right there. Yeah, yeah that's what's of, cool is you guys anchoring offer, it, you know, on on the end. Yeah. You guys offer like a different vibe than what you get, like you know, for all the people that are frequenters of uh, you know Lakeview District. It's like a lot of honky tonks, a lot of like clubs themes. and themes yeah. and stuff and it's yeah. like when you get to your place it's like it's more laid back and yeah hopefully kind of come as you are and yeah come as you are absolutely so yeah like we don't yeah there is no shtick there's no gimmick it's like it's just a bar you know mm. we don't yeah. it we make I, a couple of good cocktails but we don't try that hard any claim to fame <laughs> yeah. anything that y'all do differently than anybody else uh differently i don't know better <laughs> we have one really good tiki drink on our menu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, cool. that's, that's gin based. And I hate gin, but I love this drink. As do I. Yeah. And I couldn't tell there was gin in it, so I guess that's a win. It's called a brain yeah. cloud. Brain cloud. Okay. After, I'm usually a beer dude, so I need yeah. to branch out. Same. And try. Mm-hmm. Um,. I mean, Next time I'm there, I will try them. But we, yeah, most of our drinks cloud. are named after stupid movies. Or yeah, like a reference to movies. A movie, yeah. Hey, that yeah. is the coolest thing, man. I love coming in, and y'all always have like some cool off the wall movie playing in the background. Mm-hmm. I think uh, yeah. last night when we were there, we were watching Daybreakers. Yeah, with, you know, um, and it's always some random. That was after we watched movie. Death Stalker one and two. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, I missed <laughs> what was Death the one Stalker after one and two. Uh, that had the kid who was who died in the tragic mailbox accident. Oh, Odd Thomas. Odd Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I saw Anton enough Yelchin. of that to be really interested. Rip in Rip Anton Yelchin. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, we're like, we don't, we like, we like music and movies and we, we're not sports guys. We don't like. Between his music knowledge and my stupid movie knowledge. Yeah. We, we're a pretty effective <laughs> yeah. team. I mean, it, it mm-hmm. you know. yeah, that, that pretty much explains the entire vibe of the bar, I think. Um, yeah. There's no sports stats up in here. Like, sure. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. Um, 
Well, I was literally it's, asking it's just, him last night. Like, Do you stuff. watch sports at all? He's like, Dude, I watch nothing. I thought yeah. about it and I was like, I mean, I mean like, most of my friends do. It's fine. Skate like, clips on Instagram is about as close <laughs> as I get. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, I watch I, a lot of skateboarding. I will check out like some Red Bull sponsored events that are just yeah, that's unbridled different. insanity. Yeah. On We're some mostly device. talking like organized, right. you know, no, corporate no, no team, team sports. Yeah, right. right. team, no team sports. sports yeah, versus like individual yeah. like quote unquote action sports. Which yeah. we need to start planning our superb owl party. Oh yeah. So. Shout out to what we do in the shadows for that one. Uh, okay. <laughs> Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Superb yeah, yeah. Owl. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have you seen that show? Okay. Uh, yeah. He's, God. Well, yeah. he's gotten me into it. He's rules. a huge fan. The best. Superb Owl right Party now. is yeah. It's one of my favorite things. I love that Reddit, like r slash Super Bowl is Superb Owl. Like, is they, got, they got <laughs> it before, really? the <laughs> no. sports fans. Yeah. And the, there's some contention. Every Aww. once in a while, I'll see like a really cool post, and I'll like check the comments, and somebody's bitching about how it should be football. <laughs> oh wow! Oh uh, yes, they can. Nice. They can bitch. Are you guys both Birmingham natives, or like from here? Or technically, neither one of us actually. Really? Yeah. Okay. My parents moved here in '84, so I've been here, you know, since I was 10 years old. Well, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, like, I mean, yeah, yeah. You grew up here. Where did yeah. you, Where did you? Where were you born, or where did they come from originally? Born in Georgia, North Carolina. Oh, okay. For 10 so years. So not too far. And yeah. Not so too far. The South. Still in the South. Yeah. yeah. And you said you spent some time... Um, Norway. I'm a, yeah, because wow. my wife is from Norway, so I lived there for several years with her. But I, I'm from Etowah County, like near Gadsden. Uh, spent okay. a brief stint in Norway and decided to come back to good old <laughs> Art of Dixie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, we were there for years, but... Uh, um, yeah, it came back and uh, not sure why you all came back, but well, yeah, everyone I mean, asks us that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was ask, it good enough for you in Norway? Uh, you come back to no, it, was, it was good. Socialist um, paradise. Yeah. Right? Well, she she'd never lived outside of there. Uh, she wanted to change it up. I, I mean, the short answer is like, I mean, not that it was up to me, but like it's like her turn to do what she wanted, you know. Sure. So um, we you came back. To go get away, and so it was her turn. Yeah, to... and I mean, we didn't really know exactly what we were going to do. We didn't know if we were going to just come back here and stay, or come back here and check out another part of the U.S. But it was an easy place to return to because my family's here, and she had made a lot of friends here. We we came back a lot when we lived in Norway to visit. So you knew it was you had a job waiting on you. Yeah, it was an obvious yeah. you know uh, spot to at least uh, come back and regardless of whether or not we went somewhere else. Mm. But she got, you know, she got into, you know, real estate and she just, you know, we stuck around. But, well, that's um, awesome. Nice. Well, Did Birmingham's you know, glad to have you, man. Yeah, I mean, that's that's, awesome. I've, yeah. I've always, like, I mean, I've got, I've been in, you know, punk bands and stuff growing up here. I, I Yeah, before we got rolling, you said yeah. you, uh, what you old know, had some run-ins in? with old Jared Leto and you know, all, <laughs> well, I, all I, those uh, dudes. Or at least, like, the quick the name drop ones. I mean, like, when I was, when I was, as soon as I could drive myself, I was driving here. I mean, I'm from about an hour north, but I would drive to see punk shows at this record store on the UAB campus called American Beat. Um, long gone now, but uh, that's where I met Nick Brunson and those Haste guys and a, a bunch of people that are, yeah. some of them are still around. Um, yeah, shout out to him and Haste. Yeah, uh, great dudes. I mean, Nick's one of my oldest friends, at least uh, as far as Birmingham is concerned. Yeah, I kind of um, reconnected with him uh, at yeah. Church Key the other day. I was like, yeah. what's up, man? He great came dude. on did a podcast with us. He's awesome. Um, we we hang out all the time. We like all the same shit. Uh, yeah. Met him, and I think I met him in like 95 um, at a show at this record store. Um, you like him except for his drinks, which is uh, yeah, vodka and Diet Coke. Yeah, the only thing we disagree the, on... <laughs> the trash drink. Yeah. Yeah, he he yeah, uh, vodka and diet coke. Yeah, trash juice. Yeah, garbage juice. <laughs> I mean, yeah. for somebody as cool as Brunson, I can't it figure out like nothing wrong with little. You know, There's got to be some. You know, not everybody can be totally cool. There's got to be right. one thing. Yeah, yeah. sure. When people are allowed to have flaws. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna listen to this. And be like, I disagree. Fuck no, uh, you guys, dude. Uh, anyway, yeah, you know, I kind of grew up going, you know, in the whatever you want to call the punk scene in this town. And I've had several bands. And so I've always, even though I'm not from here, I was, I basically grew up here. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I forgot where I was going with that, but yeah. Well, it's um, awesome that you guys opened a really rad bar. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Yeah. thanks. I mean, it's cool to get man. to know you guys. We appreciate your interest. Uh, yeah, man. And I wish know, you guys all the success in the world going forward. I mean, like, you know, Thank I can you. definitely tell uh, for everybody that knows, like the the OG Parkside vibes and stuff mm-hmm. that you guys are doing. And I'm 
sure you guys have more thing more things yeah. in the works that'll be really cool. And, I tend to run into more friends or people that I know that I want to hang out with at your bar than any other bars in town right now. Definitely. Everybody has to, like, find their home base, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, East Lake, so it's a bit of a drive, but it's Mm. worth it. I mean, that's all we want. And and, and the thing is, we haven't been open very long. And Mm. I understand, I mean, it's harder than ever in the current environment to, like, get anyone's attention. So you could, I mean, of course, we feel, you know, we're aware of every single day it's been open, but... It makes perfect sense that, you know, people we know haven't still haven't found a time mm-hmm. to get there. And we're not keeping tabs. You know, we don't you, know, you get there when you get there. Um, and there's also like what we fucking opened a bar in a town of a million bars. Like we might as well put a barbecue joint in the back. It's like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, it's it's we get it, you know, you get around to it. It's a tough industry, man. I tip my hat to you guys for even, you know, wanting to dive in. But it seems like yeah. you guys are doing something right. And. Yeah, I hope it continues to go on an upward trajectory. Thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm sure now that, you know, the whole licensing thing um, is kind of settled out. Like, you know, the sky's the limit. I mean, guys. yeah, hopefully yeah. we've gotten rid of at least one more significant headache. You know? Yeah, right. yeah, one less thing to worry about. Yeah, we yeah. just don't have to. It's, it is literally an, um, a mound of paperwork uh, that we just don't have to fuck with anymore. That's uh, awesome. You have to, you know, you were asking about, like, things we learned about how this goes. The, those sheets, you know, a lot of people are, when they fill out the information on the sheet and they pay us five bucks and we give them a little card, they're like, what are you going to do with this information? We're not going to do anything with it. We're going to sell it to the Chinese. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's like, exactly. I mean, <laughs> we're selling it to yeah. Timu or TikTok, yeah. but like, yeah. um, it's, it's what the ABC requires of us. We, what we actually do is we enter it into a file, essentially, and we trash the paper. Like, we don't keep it, uh, and it's only... Burn it for heat. Yeah, well, yeah, we <laughs> that's might. What I say. That's what the fire pit we out should have, We should have held on. It keeps us warm. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's just in case ABC shows up one night, like, we want to see records of all of your members. I've heard that often what they will do is they'll, they'll go into one of these places, and they'll just they'll pull up a name that you're supposed to have on file. Or rather, I should say, uh, if someone's standing there, they're like, all right, what's your name? All right, look them up. Are they in here? Are they? Did they do what they're supposed to do? Do they keep you know a record of this person? And if they didn't, you know, you get ding, dinged <laughs> in a big way. Yeah. Um, and you know, I've been to places. I'm not going to name any spots, but I've once we started doing this, I I started paying extra attention. I did some market research. You know, went to a couple of places, and I was like, I don't I don't know if they're keeping a proper account of this. Uh, you know, I kind of scrawled some shit on a card and they chucked it in a box. And I'm like, I'm not sure that that's going into an office later and being mm-hmm. processed, but if it is fine, yeah. but it's, you're, yeah, I mean, you're gambling that, you know, they won't come check out your stuff, but we can't afford to fuck up. You know, like if, yeah. if they came did in, you, did you guys right. ever get raided? No, no, we, no. They, Not that's, wood. <laughs> yeah, that, so yeah I mean, that, the cool thing is we haven't been around long enough probably to even attract their attention, you know, but. Did this process move quicker than you thought as far as like getting your license changed? Uh, or when did it, was we... this right on par with what you expected when you guys first signed on? Like, okay, uh, I feel February like was... of 2024 is when should, we should be able to change it over. We didn't even, tr- we didn't even what, submit anything until, until what, September, it? October. Yeah, so it's so, been a while. Honestly. A few months, I guess, is not bad from the horror stories I've heard of getting anything done. Exactly. Like, and one, two, three. I don't years. think it's true that that you know people are having to wait eighteen, nineteen months for a license anymore. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh-huh. We're goobers who know nobody. So, like, if we got one, you know, we didn't have like a foot in any kind of door. You know. So anybody else who's in a similar situation, uh, <laughs> there is hope. You, sure. Yeah. Yeah. All the other uh, up and coming bar owners. Yeah. Uh, but good news for you available guys. In Avondale? <laughs> yeah, good news for you guys. Since you did pay for a membership, you're promoted to deacons of the church. Yeah. So, oh know. wow, yeah. okay, awesome, mom, I yeah. did it. Hopefully, soon you'll be getting I'm a free a koozie or something yeah. when we get that merch Dude. money. Yeah, we you know? we are going to make some merch because people have been asking about shirts and stuff, and we'll we'll probably you know come up with some small token of appreciation for all the people who slung us a fiver in the first seven months. So. Right. Dude, man, I'm looking forward to that sticker or something I can throw up on the set. And guys, this was awesome, man. Yeah. Like talking to you guys and hearing about Thanks. it. And I wish you all the Thank success you. going forward. And Thank you. This is rad. So uh, for anybody that uh, wants to look you guys up or visit or anybody that might be listening out there, uh, what's the best way to get in touch with you guys or find you guys? 
Uh, Instagram. Instagram. At, uh, kind of the main social media for most people right? we talk to. It's at the Church Key B Ham. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we don't have a house phone. That's really sweet. <laughs> uh, so, I, yeah. I think we uh, will eventually have a Facebook page uh, just, for, just for events and things. I think we, we do. Could, we sure. might. Do we do have you, one already? Did, no. I think your wife might have started it. Yeah, I don't. I'm okay. not on Facebook. Hey, yeah, yeah. She, on she must have because I think she put something up for the for the show that's happening next week. Um, we at first we were really reticent to to do any social media because just the the whole burnout from the Facebook uh, uh, the Parkside thing. It's a double edged sword. <laughs> yeah, and we were yeah, like, well, definitely. how long can we go with zero web presence? I remember talking. Not to you very about long. That in the early days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was up, like, that's man. really cool. I hope it goes well. It's a yeah. neat idea, but it's not possible. Right. It's, it's like I remember in the early days of Mom's. Wes was like, we're not having liquor. I'm like, what? <laughs> right. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. your money maker. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you are. Um, <laughs> and we, you know, we have an Instagram and we have a Facebook and, but yeah, no, no, li- uh, no landline. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know, know. No, how no, important don't, that is. Don't try to call the bar. Yeah. Uh, no, but yeah. Hey, you guys there? Yeah. All right, cool. Every Richard? bar I ever worked at that had a phone was the bane of my existence. Yeah, it so sucked. Far. It was yeah. the worst part. Parkside, I don't want it. It sucked. Um, yeah, the church key be ham on Instagram is uh, is uh, the main the main vein. Right. But now you can cool. come out of the bar and you don't have to pay five bucks to tell us we suck or you love it. Yeah. yeah. And depending on how this show goes, uh, the one on February 10th, I mean, yeah. you guys planning to do more events and have we're, more like... Yeah, it's not going to become a venue, but we're sure. open to doing things, especially if it, if it you know, goes off easily yeah. and everybody has a good time. You know, if it doesn't sound like shit and, you so know... So this kind of be the trial run. Just kind of yeah. Say, hey, let's fill it out. I'm, yeah. I, I think it's going to be cool. Cool. Um, but... I just uh, I'm I'm always sort of like guarded on that stuff. I don't ever I'm not the kind of guy that gets really psyched on the front end. This is going to be awesome. I'm always kind of like we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Well, cool. Uh, well, February 10th, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. February 10th. Uh, Reconciler, 500 bucks, and opt out. It doesn't cost 500 bucks. It nope, free. It's a free it costs show. zero dollars. You just need to be 21 or older, and the first band's going to play in the neighborhood of 7 p.m. And try to wrap all the noise up by you know ten ish or something. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I don't mean, think you bother anybody. Like, probably not. Yeah. But I yeah. kind of I asked the bands. I was like, would you rather like be done at ten thirty or go on at ten thirty? Like, fuck, done at ten thirty. Done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> start early. Yeah, yeah. I like cool. an early show. I used to like the late yeah. ones, but age keeps coming. Yeah, yeah man, it does. It gets it gets harder and harder. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tuesday. Morning Alert tomorrow. and sober. More and more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, last question: Are you guys open seven days a week, or six days, mm-hmm. or what's your seven days seven a week? Seven days strong. Open man. at three Golly. every day. Open at three Bro. p.m. every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Three sixty-five. Like three sixty-three. Three sixty-five. There's probably a couple. How'd your brother get off tonight? Who's running the place? Like, um, Annie is working. Right. Uh, okay. Go see sweet Annie tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, so like, we have a super important <laughs> yeah. podcast we have to do, so y'all got to... Well, yeah, is he is, Annie two nights, three nights yeah. ago? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah. Well, Robert works almost every day. I work there the least. I'm only behind the bar on Saturdays, but uh, yeah, we just had to find a day where you weren't in there. Right. Uh, yeah, because it's... Uh, yeah. It's in your blood, man. You love it. I mean, <laughs> I belong behind the bar. It is what it is bar. for now. Yeah. You know, I would like to get it back to just doing three or four days a week. That'd be sure. great, but you know, for now... Got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do. Well, yeah. we appreciate you guys carving out the time. And, you know, this was rad, man. Really Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot for coming. Right on.